Hey, what's up YouTube? In this video, I'll be showing you how to make a barber shop for all of your city building needs. And not only will I show you how to make the outside of your barber shop, I'll also show you how to make the entire inside of your barber shop as well. If you are new around here, please do consider subscribing to the channel and clicking the little bell next to the subscription button. That'll ensure that you get all my videos sent directly to your sub box. But without any further ado, let's get started. So just before we start building everybody, here are all of the materials that you will need to make your barber shop. Please do make sure that you have access to all those materials and enough of them as well. The amount of space required to make the barbershop is a 13 by 14 block area as represented by the white concrete grid on the ground. Do feel free to make this grid in your world if you are planning out a city. It will almost certainly help. And that's it. Pause the video if you have to, gather all that stuff, make sure you got enough room to make it, make sure you're ready, and once you are, we can begin. Step 1 barbershop builders, come all the way to the front left hand corner of your grid, if you've made it. You want to start off by placing 11 bricks on top of each other. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. We're then going to extend right by 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We're then going to extend down by 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. We're then going to place two white concrete going down. One, two. And then we're going to place three rows of blue concrete extending across from the white. So that's going to be one, two, three. We'll follow up with another layer of white concrete. And then we're going to do six layers of blue. So that'll be like one, two, three, four, five, six. And then we'll polish it off with a white concrete. Now, these rows want to be two rows thick. So I just wanted to get the first row in there just to make it nice and easy. In addition to that, what we're also going to do is we're just going to add a row of bricks directly down and behind this right hand side here so it's kind of just going to connect all the way down just like this and it's going to sit behind the sign like this so if you if you can see we kind of get this layered effect where the entrance to the barbershop is actually a little set back in relation to the rest of it it's, it's just a cool technique that you can use we want to have a set of windows above the sign and it, it's quite easy to do, it's basically a pattern. If you start on top of the sign here and you go from left to right, you place two upside down stairs and then a brick and so on and so forth until you eventually get to the opposite side over there. And you want to split in between the windows using bricks like this. You want to place some block of quartz at the top of the windows. And then we want to fill in between the windows in using some black stained glass pane. So that's all we're going to do. In between the windows, we're just going to fill them in with glass just like this. And we'll have something which should look like that. And the next thing that we're going to do is we're kind of just going to divide these areas up a little bit. So for instance, we want to make the door. I'm actually not 100% sure what I want to make the door out of at this moment in time. I'm thinking either blue or white. Uh, and I'll let you guys be the judge. I'm thinking I'm going to use... So let's try some white concrete and we can always change it. The door starts inwards diagonally from the bottom right hand corner of the store here. And we want to have a row of one, two, three concrete on top of each other. Extend left to, join down to the ground. Place glass above the door. And then place quartz slabs across the top half of the glass. So that's kind of like how the doorway will look. And we then want to have a row of blue concrete. We're going to keep it blue. Uh, extending outwards diagonally to the left. And that's kind of going to cover one half of the window. And we're going to have another row of blue concrete on the other corner like this. Just like that. So two vertical rows of blue concrete. And we're going to join them together. And the way that we're going to do that is at the top, we're going to place alternating white and red walls, just like this. And at the bottom of the window, we want to use some upside down quartz stairs, to kind of just like from one side to the other. Black stained glass pane in between. And that's pretty much like the genesis of the front of the barbershop. Now, of course, there are more details to add, but we'll be doing that a little bit later. 
Uh, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to take the entire left side of the barbershop and we're going to extend it backwards by 13 using bricks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And I do mean the entire side, uh, by the way. So literally, like, if you extend the whole thing, <laughs> pretty much. And this is pretty much going to make up the height and the depth of the store. So... Uh, what we could in theory do if we had no more details is that we could extend this entire wall that we have here We could extend it across and then forwards to the front But we have some windows to add and to make the windows we're actually going to need some brick stairs And on the back here we're going to take the bottom we're going to place a brick extending from the bottom inwards And six upside down brick stairs One, two, three, four, five, six And we're going to stick a brick on the end And... Actually, what you can even do is you can extend that brick across so that it's even on level with the front of the build, funnily enough. Uh, I didn't think about doing it this way until just now. And then you can take this brick and you can place three upside down brick stairs. One, two, three. And then you can place three bricks. One, two, three. And then three upside down bricks, or brick stairs rather. One, two, three. And then you can kind of join back. Now, what is the significance of the brick stairs versus the bricks? Well, on top of the brick stairs, you want to place two rows of glass. So that would be one, two, and one, two. And you want to do this everywhere that you place the brick stairs. So like one, and then two. Just like that and then basically we're just going to fill in in between all of these uh all all of the windows all the glass and stuff i'm gonna fill it all in and we are going to uh raise up all of the bricks until it's as high as the rest so there we go perfect so those are the walls we're going to raise up these uh, brick walls until it's as high as the top of the store. Then we're going to install a floor. I think that that's what we're going to do. We're going to wait on the ceiling though, um, because there's not really any natural light other than the side windows uh, that comes into the barbershop. And honestly, I mean, there is quite a lot of uh, there's quite a lot of windowage in this store. But if we actually put a ceiling in on the inside, then it's it's going to be a little bit dark. Trust me, it's going to be a little bit dark. So we'll probably do the roof uh, dead last. Uh, I'd also recommend adding a row of upside down brick step. My bad. A row of upside down, specifically upside down uh, brick stairs going all the way around the top, just like this. And then that will put, it'll just put a nice little trim at the top of the build pretty much. It's, uh, I, I just like how it looks. So, just like that. That's perfect. So, that's uh, that's what we've got so far, and it's, it's not a bad looking building at all. Like I said, the next thing that we're going to do is install a floor, and we're going to use some black concrete and some white concrete for this. And this is just the, the inside of the store, and we've got, I'd, I would prefer to have the pattern in a specific way. So, I'm just going to dig out all of the grass that we have in here. And it's just going to be an alternating like chessboard, checkerboard pattern. It's going to be black, white, black, white, black, white. You guys get the idea. Just two alternating colors together next to each other. And we are going to have a re it, it actually fits really, really nicely. Like it, it gives it gives the store quite a good feel. And uh, basically, I'm going to start from the front left hand corner of the store and I'm going to like move back and like, you know, kind of like this way. And we are going to start off with a white concrete in this corner. Uh, you'll see why it makes sense that it's specifically got to be white later on. You'll, you'll see why. I'll explain when we get there. But white, black, white, black, white, black, so on and so forth. Basically every other block. Now, I personally find it easier to add um, just one color in first. And then kind of like fill in the holes afterwards. But that's me. Instead of like alternating. I, I don't think it's necessarily faster to do it this way. That I'm doing. I just find it less tedious. Uh, less annoying to do it this way. But uh, as long as you end up with the same pattern as I uh, as I have. Like over there. Um, it doesn't really matter. Uh, we also want to have a block of, I think it works out to be a black concrete block. Yep, perfect for the door. Um, where the door is going to go, you you want that to be concrete. But yeah, here we go. It, it looks really, really nice. It's um, it's kind of like a classic barber, barber shop floor. Um, the white and black tile, or vinyl as it is. I don't think it's actually tile. Um, 
the hairs will probably get caught in the tile, I would imagine. So it's probably vinyl, which is kind of like almost like a, almost like a plasticky sort of like rubbery kind of like floor that you can like lay down and rip up rather easily. So that's what this is supposed to be. And uh, it just looks so nice and bright. I, I love how it looks. It's such a nice contrast. As I've said before, there's no greater contrast than like black and white. It's it just looks really really nice. And uh, whilst we are in here, we'll we'll just add a couple of things that we whilst we have some of the materials, uh, we need cauldrons, uh, light grey concrete, and buttons. And we're just going to add in kind of like the workstations. So start from the left corner here. We're going to have like a cauldron, two light grey concretes, gap of one cauldron two light grey, gap of one, cauldron, two light grey. We've got like three places to cut hair and uh, we're just placing buttons in front of the light grey concretes because they they somewhat represent kind of like drawers and stuff. So it makes sense that they've kind of like got some buttons so you can open and shut them. Other than that, there really isn't too much more than we can add in here, but uh, we, we can add a little bit of carpet actually, now that I think about it. So if you grab the red carpet, and if you leave a gap of two between the workstations, um, you just want to place like uh, like two rows of red carpet that are equal in width to kind of like the, the little workstations like this. So just two rows away, like that. And we're going to be using end rods for the seats, and they actually sit perfectly on the black concrete rather than the white, so we get a nice contrast there too. Uh, that's that's why I wanted to specifically have uh, the floor in that sort of pattern. But anyways, uh, we can also add some seating in here. No, we can't. Okay, never mind. Um, we're going to head outside and we're going to have, what do we ha want to have here? We want to place the door, so that's going to just be like a dark oak door. Um, I have some smooth stone around the outside of the barbershop. Um, you can use whatever material you want. It actually won't you, it won't be in the item list, but make sure that you integrate it into uh, into your city in whatever way that might be. Uh, we need to grab the diorite wall, red never brick wall, and the white carpet. And we're going to make kind of like that barbershop sign where it's kind of like the white and red swirly thing. And that's just going to be on the right side here. So diorite, red, diorite, white on top. And that's kind of uh, just... You know the, the the again the swirly thing. You could even have one on the right, uh, the left hand side here if you wanted to. You could even hang it from um, the wall if uh, if you so chose. But you know that's kind of up to you. Um, you'd just place it probably like a row higher. Maybe even alternate uh, how much red you've got there. But yeah, something like that if you wanted to. Uh, I've opted only to have it on the one side. But again, I like to give you guys some options. Um, now that we have both of the carpets out. Oh, and also birch button string. Um, birch button basically just goes here, just kind of like, um, kind of like a doorbell or something, you know, kind of, or maybe like an, an additional handle. It just makes the uh, entrance look a bit better. Um, the string is going to go underneath the white and red walls, and then the uh, corresponding carpet is going to go on top of that string. So wherever the carpet, have, have, have we placed the string? Have we placed the string in the right place here? Okay, uh, and then the correspond. Have I have I accidentally? <laughs> Guys, <laughs> oh there we go. Okay, and then you place the corresponding carpet um, extending out from the actual wall. So it, it just creates kind of like a cool effect. What else can we do? Well, I I did do this on the original, but I don't think I like it. I, I decided to hang some like brick slabs um, like next to the windows here. Um, that's not brick slabs, here. And I, I opted to hang some lanterns from them. I, I don't quite like that now now that I've kind of got here and I've, I've seen it plain. You might like it though, so again, options, options, options. We have to place the sign. Now the sign is going to be made out of banners. I'm gonna move, we only have one blue banner which is uh, wrong. We need way more than just one blue banner. But um, let me just grab them. We need six banners in total, um, less if you are not on survival. If you're in creative, you can actually repeat. Um, you can use a couple of the letters again. So uh, we're gonna need a loom to make the banners. We're also going to need blue concrete and we're, uh, blue banners and we're going to need white and blue dye. If you do not have a loom, I'd suggest getting one. If not, you're going to have to do it the old fashioned way with a crafting table. So chuck down the loom, crack it open and start off by placing a brand new banner inside of the loom. And you need some white dye too. 
the first letter is B, so we're going to place a horizontal row of white on top, grab it, horizontal row of white through the middle, grab it, horizontal row of white at the bottom, grab it, vertical row of white on the right side, grab it, vertical row of white on the left side, grab it, that is B, we can actually use that twice. Next letter is A, so A, we can use the vertical row of white on the left, vertical row of white on the right, horizontal row of white across the top, horizontal row of white through the middle, so that is A. Uh, we can only use that once. Brand new banner, right in the loom, and we have to make R. So vertical row of white on the left, horizontal row of white going along the top, and then we actually need a diagonal layer of white, top left corner to bottom right corner, and then that will be R, which is another letter that we can actually reuse. Uh, the next letter would be B, but we, we already have one. Uh, you'll have to remake one if uh, you're in survival. So the last letter that we actually even need to make is E. That's going to be a horizontal row along the top, horizontal through the middle, horizontal at the bottom, and then just to pull it all together, vertical row of white on the left side. So uh, basically we have made bear. No, where? Where is bear? The bear should be added to Minecraft. Actually, there's a bear right here. Koala bear, that counts. Anyway, we want to make Barbara and it's actually going to sit in front of the, these blue concretes above the window. B-A-R-B-E. Ah, oh, as easy as that, barber, just straight across like that. If you can figure out a good way to make scissors, uh, I, can, I, I couldn't find one, to be honest with you. Um, a good scissors banner would actually look kind of cool here. Or if you can somehow make something that looks like scissors, I mean, maybe you could like use uh, use item frames and six shears there or something, you know, whatever it might be. Or maybe next to the barber's sign, that'll be up to you. But that's pretty much all of the work that we have, uh, that we have to do on the outside. Uh, so now we're going to, I like using this view when we move on to the inside. So now we're going to head on inside to the barbershop and we're going to add all of the details inside here and uh, we are going to need some new materials some materials we will already have but some uh, will be brand new so we're just going to clean our slate and we're going to grab everything new that we need uh, so here are all of the materials that we are going to be using to complete the inside of our barbershop please do make sure that you have access to all of them and enough of them and then once you do have them all that we can get this party started so now we have all that stuff we can get started so the first thing that we are going to do is we are going to place some spruce trap doors in front of our cauldrons. Now these cauldrons are meant to be sinks like, to like wash scissors and stuff in. And we're going to place tripwire hooks above them to look like a faucet. And we're also going to fill the cauldrons with water to further perpetuate that they are indeed uh, sinks. Uh, we're going to place flower pots on the right hand side of every single one of the little workstations and that can, can contain like scissors and stuff like that. In the middle of these areas, we want to have mirrors. Now, the only way that I can really think to really replicate a mirror, to have a good looking mirror, is to make a banner for it. So once again, we're going to need our old pal, the loom. We're going to chuck it down. Again, if you don't have a loom, I don't know what to tell you. Uh, we're going to place a light grey banner in the loom. And the first thing that we want to do is we want to place a little bit of white dye in there. And we need uh, top left corner to bottom right corner of white uh, of white dye in the loom. So just like that diagonally. We're going to grab that banner, chuck it back in, get rid of the white dye, and we need some blue dye in there, some light blue specifically. And we want to create a gradient effect. So the gradient effect is going to be the dark gradient to the lighter gradient. So it's this one right here. So not the light to dark, it's the dark to light. And we're going to grab that right there. Or shall we make it the other way around? It actually doesn't matter. We'll make it the other way around. We'll have it go um, from top to bottom. And we're going to grab that and we'll place it in the loom. And we're going to get rid of the light blue and we're going to grab some light grey and we're going to have the opposite gradient. So this time we're going to have um, we're going to have it go from like bottom to top. So the opposite of what we just did pretty much. We're going to grab that, we're going to place it back in the loom, we're going to get rid of the light grey, we're going to grab the black dye and we're just going to chuck some, uh, basically, just some black 
uh, die just all the way around the outside of our uh, of our banner. And that is going to look pretty much like a mirror. Now, there's a few different mirrors you can make, but this one I quite like. It's kind of like a, a darker sort of looking mirror. It kind of fits the vibe a little bit more. Um, yeah, it actually, it makes a pretty decent looking mirror. I, I really like the effect of that. So now that we've got our mirrors, we need some uh, chairs for the patrons to sit in. So end rods, quartz stairs, and some oak trap doors. And basically, end rods are going to be placed one row away from the workstations in the middle with quartz stairs on top of them. And we're going to give them kind of like um, oak, get rid of that loom, some oak trap door armrests, pretty much. And, and that's going to be it. So it actually looks, I think it looks quite good. Um, I think it's like a, quite a, a professional looking setup. It actually looks, uh, you know, kind of like a barbershop in here, which is the goal. <laughs> uh, what else are we going to do? So we need to create a little bit of seating here and in the back. Um, there's not too much uh, left to do, guys, don't worry. Uh, we need red concrete for this. We're going to grab quartz stairs. We need the uh, blue glazed terracotta, flower pot, dead bush. We need oak leaves. You can even grab lanterns, sea pickles, uh, maybe even some flowers as well. And basically just across the back here, we want to have like a red concrete in the corner, quartz stairs on the other side, red concrete, quartz stairs, blue glazed terracotta, quartz stairs, red concrete, quartz stairs, red concrete. And then in this corner here, we're going to have a, a place that you can hang your hat and coat. It's just going to be an armor stand. You could have one there and you could even have like one here as well if you wanted or maybe you could have like one in the corner or maybe one in the middle um just a few different options you know do do as you wish um on top of the glazed terracotta this is going to be a little separation um what you could even use instead of the glazed terracotta so here's option one um blue glazed terracotta flower pot dead bush and then like an oak leaf on top and that, that looks all right or quite often times you have like magazines and stuff in in these places so you could use um and this is something I've only just thought of, so you know, whatever. Um, you could just have like a scaffolding and you could have like just as a table and you could have like maybe... What, what would be great is if we could actually use... Or maybe, maybe instead of just like this tape... Yeah, okay, so maybe just like a table and then it'd be kind of cool if we could have like an item frame and like... Um, largely placed on the table, which you can do in some versions of Minecraft, unfortunately not this one, and you could just have like books, so like a stack of magazines kind of like sat on the table, so if you can do that, that'd actually be kind of cool, I think. And then we're just basically going to decorate the arms here, so maybe some like flower pot, uh, maybe just like a lantern just to light things up, maybe just like a uh, sea pickles kind of looks like a cup, and you could do the same thing, uh, you could have like a uh, ju just like a flower as well, just like an actual prop of like flower pot here if you wanted to, something like that. Um, above the entrance of the barbershop, I like the idea of having a bell, so it, it makes that nice jingling sound as you open the door, it's like ding ding ding, -ding. you guys know the sound. Um, I, I, we have to kind of like frame in the door here, so I mean you could use a bit of black concrete for this, or you could use um, some blue concrete. Blue concrete makes more sense. So kind of like frame in the door a little bit. And what else can we do? There's really not too much to do other than like install the ceiling. And there's a few different ways to install the ceiling. You can use whatever you like. But um, I like the idea. And by the way, I think that we'll also use blue concrete just to cover up the back here too. So just to cover up like the back of the walls. I like the idea of that. That's, that's quite good. Um, we're basically just going to use chiseled quartz block to fill in the ceiling like this. And I think it's just, it's a good material for the ceiling because it's light, it's not quartz exactly, it's not like white concrete, it's not black concrete, it's not a material you, we've used before, but it's an interestingly textured material, which is why I, I've, I've really come on to the chisel quartz recently. Um, for some reason, again, I kind of got get obsessed with these materials. Um, there we go, that's looking pretty good. And honestly, it is quite bright in here, isn't it? It's, it's not too bad. We could even hang a couple of lanterns. If you wanted to avoid adding ceiling lights, which I'm thinking about doing, if, if you just hung a couple of lanterns, between this lantern here and between those lanterns there, it actually lights up the inside of your barbershop perfectly. It's, it's actually really bright in here, so I wouldn't even bother. Myself, I wouldn't bother with the block of redstone and the redstone lamps to uh, install ceiling lights, but you're more than welcome to. Um, 
I'm just, I'm not, I'm actually not going to at all. I actually think it's perfectly bright in here. Another thing that we can add, just uh, another thing before I forget, is a television just to keep you entertained as well. Sometimes you have these things. Um, and basically the TV is kind of just going to hang off the ceiling here. And it's just going to use uh, an end rod to hang off the ceiling, a couple of black concretes, and then you're going to have to place uh, something there. Uh, and then just like a painting. Um, and the painting could be anything. It could be that. That one's quite nice, um, just to kind of like represent a television so you could like sit and watch it as you're watching people like get their haircuts and stuff. Or uh, you could even have like a couple like hanging above here, kind of like where I've placed the lanterns as well, if you wanted to. And something else to consider as well is in barbershops, um, is there a way to do this without messing everything up? In mm, Okay, so in barbershops quite often it gives you... It gives you the option of like, oh, whose hair would, how, what, what, ha whose hair would you like to have? Like, what would you like it to look like? And oftentimes, uh, <laughs> got to destroy so much stuff. Oftentimes, like they'll have like um, pictures of people sometimes, and um, that you can kind of like have your hair modelled after. So you could have like these two specifically, the one by twos or the two by ones, whatever. You could specifically have these because. Um, they're actually like humanoid figures, so you could actually have those as representations of would you like Pinocchio's hair? Would you like this man in black's hair? Like, y you know, it, it's it's just kind of like an extra little detail that again I've literally just thought of so I know you know whether or not you want that that's that's gonna be up to you But uh, we're kind of done with this place ladies and gentlemen. We've kind of done the whole thing um, Why don't we have a quick look around and, and see how uh, and see what we've done the only thing that you do have left to do by the way is is uh, just to fill in the ceiling with something, the roof. Um, I might even use uh, a different material. Um, brick is good, but maybe maybe some block of quartz would be good too, or maybe even some light grey concrete or something like that, some smooth stone, just to create a contrast. And it doesn't really matter in the end, of course, because no one's really going to get to see it unless you get some altitude on the place. But let me fill the roof in, and then let me give you a quick tour around everything that we've made. We've we've completely done, guys. Well done. So this is what your barber shop should look like once it has been 100% fully completed, ladies and gentlemen. As you can see the outside is a nice clean brick smooth exterior and as we head on inside we have our nice cozy barbershop with our mirrors our workstations we have a couple of examples of haircuts from Pinocchio and that guy wearing black and we also have some seats and even a little entertainment a television and a place to uh, hang your coat and hat and stuff that's it I do hope that you guys have enjoyed this tutorial if you have please do remember to subscribe to the channel if you're new around here and click that little bell next to the subscription button I'll ensure that you get all my videos sent directly to your sub box if you would like to make any announced by me please do check out the card system description below and the top of the comment section as well for all of the things that i've been making on the channel recently we have some pretty large city builds that we've been working on so if those are to your taste then you'll love that place the card system description below and the top of the comment section thank you so much for watching everybody i'll see you guys in the next one goodbye